Okay, back at Sedona for some more training. We're on the runway. I'm gonna let the textures load up a bit. I think we're gonna reduce textures on the airplane itself because we don't even look at the airplane. <laughs> We're always flying in cockpit view because I feel like that's just a lot more enjoyable in a sense. It's not like a, it's not like a flying game in like like Ace Combat or even flying like in GTA. It's not. I mean, I feel like it's a little bit more intuitive and more enjoyable in cockpit view, and you know, it's just it's just it's just better. I think. <laughs> But, let's go on. I've always said, flying is freeing. Open skies, endless possibilities. But to fully enjoy it, you need to be prepared. We're going to focus this lesson on navigation prep and procedures. The fundamentals of getting from point A to point B. Step one, putting some distance between us and the ground. Let's go. Bye, airport. You were good to us, I think. So we trimmed it for 60. Nope, we didn't. <laughs> So it says it's still set attitude, cruise altitude. Check. Now for cruise your altitude. Heading. When you need to set and maintain a heading, you want to rely on your heading indicator. Compasses are prone to errors. Now we don't have a heading during bug. turns or while accelerating or decelerating. Go ahead and position your plane above the airport. Alright, let's go. We're just gonna go around. Visually, there we go. So we're going to get those visual markers. Flaps? Like well, we we're being forced. So we're full throttle right now. We're at 23 RPM. So I'm guessing they're messing around with the. Is that a freaking maybe mixture maybe or? So we're 
go to Munns Park first. Munns. Munns. Look at that though. That is so nice. Crease a little bit. Oh, one last bit of departure prep. We need to validate the time. That's a fancy way of saying, start the clock. Start the clock. On the nav log, you can see our next waypoint, Munns Park. Is it a 41 degree heading about five minutes away? Navigating is basically flying a given heading for a given amount of time. Sometimes you deviate, but if you track the time flown from your last known position, you'll always have at least a range for your current position. Alright, so we're gonna climb. We all know steadily. speed can increase or decrease depending on the wind. That's why at your next waypoint you'll want to compare your estimated time and route with the actual time flown. Validate your estimate that looks and your so progress. Nice. Just a little bit more. And like I said, I don't like that they're visual, but I should tell you where to go. Not just freaking show you, but tell you where to go and how to go at what altitude and what airspeed. Maybe not airspeed necessarily, but. Climb a little bit more. Alright, so we're almost there. Three minutes in. Expected to be there for... I guess I'm gonna time in route. Five minutes. So we're gonna go with the visual. Even though they're not telling us to climb, we've already climbed. Supposedly, our initial climb was to 5,800. But we're now at... 6,000. No, 7,000. 7,700, 7,800 almost. So we're almost at 8,000 feet. I think that that marker is at 8,000 feet. Wow, that looks so nice. We're gonna climb a little bit more so we can catch that marker. Our altitude is fine. Current time is 6 p.m. Bit of an overcast kind of day. I don't see the sun. Oh, there, it should, it's, it's over there, but we can't see it. So 8,000 feet. I'm gonna hold this altitude for now. Man, 
man, this looks so nice. Alright, so the first leg is almost complete. We're running a bit slower, I think. Let's see what um, what our flight instructor tells us. Imagine it just fails the mission because it's like, oh, too slow, bro. <laughs> you too slow, slow poke. One nautical mile away now. Try to maintain this altitude right here. It looks to be about 8,300, 8,200. Good. Let's see. Okay. You made it to Munns Park. According yes. to the nav log, we've got one more stop Flagstaff Pulliam Airport. An easier way to navigate is to follow identifiable landmarks like highways. And just so happens, we have one below us. I don't see it, but I'm believe you. <laughs> Our nose is way up. And again, not telling us nothing about the altitude we should be at. There's a highway back there. I don't see the highway, so I'm, I'm gonna sidestep a bit so that we can maybe see the highway. Looks like that might be it over there on the edge of the screen. So see, these are some of the things that are like, okay, not really realistic. We need to um, you know, tell us locate the road and then be like, okay, they need to put like a, like a little marker there that when you see it, you're like, okay, that is it. I think that is not it. <laughs> but we have that sign up there, so that's the good news bad news is I don't even have an assignment for to change views. What if I hit S? Oh, it just takes it to that point. So it didn't tell us, and we didn't do it. Uh, but we, we needed to do was, oh, I guess not restart the nav watch? Or maybe reset? Okay, that's what we needed to do when we reached the Munns Park, but it didn't tell us. Um, smart camera should be able to, should have told us what highway it was, but it looks to be, I don't know if it's that highway. Because the smart camera just takes us to that, which is kind of in a way like not even real. <laughs> um, I don't see a highway below us. Oh, is that the highway? Yeah, I guess that's the highway. But now it's working. Go like this. Oh, that's the highway over there. In the center of her screen. That's the highway. Okay, good. Good to know, good to know. I'm still really far away but that's the highway we needed to follow this one right here I'm, I'm a can I zoom in that's the highway okay what happens if I zoom in and then okay that good good it resets it that's good that's good to know all right so that's the highway we needed to follow but we can follow the marker too And apparently we're climbing even higher. Again. So we're almost at 9,000 feet. Ooh, 
lose some frame drops, the, the game froze for a second. <laughs> Stab. We see the runway, by the way. We see it on the edge of the of the plane, right there in the nose. That's the highway to Flagstaff. That's so cool. Love the way the sun looks, and you can see like the formations in the distance. Some ominous-looking clouds too the river over there. There's a lake over there too, like a small lakes, but I'm guessing that's the city of Flagstaff right there. Hasn't super loaded in yet, but that seems to be the city. There goes the highway, it continues on. We're at 9,100 feet. Okay, we're gonna descend a little bit. As you close in on Flagstaff Pulliam airspace, Next step is setting up to enter the traffic pattern. We've got clearance to enter the downwind leg and land on runway 21. Keep your attitude, then follow the standard pattern. Runway 21, right, so we're gonna see the aer airport on the left. Now what I'm afraid of is that it's gonna put us either too high or too low. I don't know what it's gonna do, so. That's kind of the tricky stuff here, it's like, it, it doesn't tell us how it reached to... How all of a sudden we get, like, um, clearance for the downwind turn. It doesn't tell us the runway heading. Well, 2-1, but it could be in any direction. It tells us an inter downturn, but it doesn't give us an, an, also another indicator. I feel like we're really far away though, but we're entering the downwind. That might mean that we're... Oh, is this the airport? Holy smokes. Alright, we're gonna increase flaps to 10. We're gonna decrease power. Lower your nose to a cruise attitude and reduce your power. And so now it's telling us it's way higher. That base turn looks to be a little high. Wow. I thought that was Flagstaff. <laughs> oh, it is Flagstaff. <laughs> but that's where we were going. We were following the road. I thought we were going to another airport, not Flagstaff. But wow, that was a brain freeze right there. Alright, so we're, we're going to try to maintain 1800 RPM. Try to uh, slowly try to keep our nose up and reduce speed to 65 knots. We're almost at base turn. We're gonna increase. Let's keep it steady as possible here. We add some trim. Still descending. We're at 70 knots, so we got space to maneuver there. Power should be at idle now, so you're losing altitude while maintaining cruise attitude. Alright, let's uh let's, let's 
Let's try it. We're gonna try to uh, see if we can do it. We'll add power if we need to. But we should be okay. We're going into a final turn. Run my head in around 2 1, so we're turning for a heading of 2 1 0. We're definitely losing too much altitude though. 60. Let's keep it around 60. Not lose too much out too much speed. We have flaps set to 10. And we're a little low. We're gonna add flaps, increase power. Well, it's not going to count it. Finally, a landing on runway 21, and we'll call this one done. All right, so again, we're we're way too slow. Oh my God, we when we pitched up, we 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 had another notch of flaps because we a little too low. We're full freaking. And we're we're only at fifty. I'm afraid of stalling. But we just we just came in too low throughout the whole traffic pattern. We're we're on it. I can see that. But we're like barely on it. Once we pass the threshold, we'll be able to decrease power all the way. Now we're decreasing power. Woo! Don't stall on me. Put a little bit of power there. Alright, power off. Alright, here we go. Flaring. Nice! <laughs> that was scary. I feel like we were about to stall. And we just did not have that. Can we turn? Ooh! Ooh, easy on the rudder. Easy on the rudder. Alright, successful VFR flight in the books. Not bad. Not nice! Bad at all. Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Congratulations. We took off runway 21. We did departure preparations, which we didn't actually. We navigated, which we didn't really navigate. But we did we did do landmark navigation, although we didn't detect the highway until like forever. <laughs> Completed the traffic pattern. We were a little low on it and a little low on final approach. We almost stalled the aircraft, but we did land successfully on runway 21. Um, I feel like they're messing with my power settings, because I was going full power, and I shouldn't have been stalling. I should have been carrying enough speed, but I never got, never once got the stall alert, or our flight instructor never told us, but I feel like we were close to stalling, but we did it. We did it successfully. <laughs> Uh, let's go to the next train flight. First navigation solo.